is how to play the game! That is an epic fucking intro, dude. And I have to warn everyone, warning, what you may see right now is going to be absolutely disgusting. Sound good? All right, that sounds good to me. So we've been talking the past week or so about things that I can do to further reward those of you who become channel members here on my, sh on my channel, DSP Gaming. And I'm very grateful for those of you who, who stepped up and became members to help me. And I wanted to have an ability where during this upcoming Halloween event, you guys would basically have special influence on what I do during that event, namely the games that I play. I was going to have it so that you guys can nominate and vote on a game that will be in that marathon for sure. Which is cool because there's only 265 members, but there's thousands of people who watch my stuff, you know, at various times. And having the ability to exclusively have a game just for the members picked versus the open nominations process that's going to start taking place right now on my forums is kind of a cool, powerful thing. Uh, sure. But however, it's not going to work the way that we had intended. Allow me to explain. The way that we were going to do it was I was going to do a community post on this channel here, DSP Gaming, on YouTube. And it was going to be a members-only post. And you guys were basically going to respond to that post and say, Oh, I'd like this game or this game or these two games during the Halloween event. I was going to tally those up for a week or two weeks or so. And then I was going to have a members-only poll for the games that you guys had nominated the most to determine a game that will absolutely be in the event. So I tried to do that. And it didn't work. Um, and that's YouTube's fault. Because I, tr I did the post and people can thumb it up. Like, they can say, oh, I see the post, thumbs up. But they can't actually respond to it. It says comments are disabled. Which makes absolutely no sense because in my YouTube settings, okay, in the area where you'd say, do you want to have comments enabled on your channel or not, it actually says... Allow all comments, which obviously I don't want. Have comments held for review, all of them, so that none of them show up unless they're approved for review, okay? Um, hide certain comments for review. Not all of them, but certain comments for review, dependent on bad language detectors that they have on the site. Or, don't allow comments at all. But when you say, oh, don't allow comments at all, it actually literally says on that very page, this will not affect your channel comments. What will happen to your channel comments is people will still be able to post them, and then you'll just have to manually approve each channel comment. It actually says that on it. Okay? So I'm looking at it, and I'm like, okay, so this doesn't make sense. Uh, this page right here where I do the settings says this doesn't affect channel comments, they'll still be able to post. Then I go to my channel page, and, and the community tab, and it says, nope, you can't post. So what this tells me is, once again, ladies and gentlemen, I apologize, YouTube designed, launched, and implemented a feature that doesn't work. Why'd you do that? Why did you do that? Why'd you just go to bite mommy? Wow. Alright, so you see what pigs can do. This is probably no exaggeration. In the 13 years that I've been using YouTube on a daily basis, probably about the maybe 150th, maybe 200th time that I've run into this issue where YouTube designs something, launches it, fully releases it without properly testing it, and then tells everyone that it works when it doesn't. It's then on me and or other people who upload content to YouTube to test these things, see if they actually work, and if they don't, we have to report that to YouTube in the hopes that YouTube will now go back and fix their broken content that they released for the site. It doesn't always work. A lot of times you'll do it and they just ignore it and never fix it. So I did report that this does not work. I hate to say it, YouTube tends to reuse code and do kind of copy-paste, copy-paste kind of a deal. So, likely, in their coding, they are exactly the same. <laughs> Which doesn't make sense, but they are. Just like right now, channel uh, uh, stream chat is also a comments-based system for YouTube. As stupid as that sounds, it's, it's not really a chat room. It's you guys are leaving comments, a running commentary, on this stream. It's not an actual chat room client or anything like that, which is what Twitch uses. Okay? So, the one thing that I'm thinking of that maybe I can do to remedy this. Perhaps I can make it so that people can leave channel comments, but every single channel comment is left for review. Okay? Now, I'm not going to have time to go review and approve manually approve comments. I'm not. I'm just not going to have time to do that. But, maybe what I could do, if that's the case, if that enables comments on the channel page with the community tab, 
then maybe you guys, the members, could leave comments and I could approve the members only comments. You see what I'm saying? Maybe I could do that. That's the one thing I'm thinking I can do. Of course, again, I don't know if it works. I haven't messed with it. I haven't tested it. Who knows if this is a feature that actually works or doesn't work on YouTube. You don't know till you give it a shot, right? So that is what I'm thinking. All right, I'm thinking maybe I can try that out. Now, obviously, I don't have time to do that tonight. I'm very sedentary in my lifestyle. Um, I don't move a lot. Being honest, I sit here on the couch streaming all day long most days. The only other thing is I could do polls, but it kind of sucks because if you just do a poll, I, I essentially have to predetermine what the options of the poll are, right? I don't want to pick 10 games. Actually, it would only be four. I don't want to pick four games for the Halloween event. You guys just vote on one. I, you know, I want you guys to nominate those games. I don't want to be doing that. That's, it was supposed to be in your power. That was the whole point, was that it was something special for the members. So, we'll see what happens, okay, guys? Thursday is shower day. Nico just did me $20. Now, the $32 in tips and climbing. Thank you for the support tonight, everyone. Gee, thanks, money creature. Uh, let's see here. Alex tipped $1.50 and said something very stupid. He said, oh, will you accept in-person, uh, in-person tips? Would you, like, in-person tips? Yes, uh, people walking up to me and handing me money in real life. No, stupid. That's not how it works. All right? It works where, where the service is rendered is where you give a tip. If you were a bartender, all right, how would you like it if someone walked up to you on the street and said, here's $20 for a good job the other night? If you're a waitress or a waiter, right, and you do a really good job, if someone doesn't tip you in the restaurant when you're doing your job, but finds you afterwards somewhere else and hands you money? No, stupid. You do it where the service is rendered. You like the stream tonight? Contribute, by all means. If you don't, then don't contribute. Cat, you need to get out now. That place is toxic. So now Jimmy Ryan did another super chat says, Am I afraid of being labeled a Karen? No, I don't care. First of all, number one, it's an internet meme. It has no, no bearing in real fucking life. It, it, it's stupid memes, okay? Number two, just because you legitimately complained about something where you were done wrong. I mean, does anyone on stream disagree that this is absolutely disgusting, inedible, and, and rip off? Like, seriously. I've been showing that for a week and a half. No, everyone agrees with me and is disgusted by it. So, no, you're not a Karen if you want to actually get some kind of uh, customer service because you were treated badly by a place you went and spent money at. That's ridiculous. There's a difference between being someone who's asking way too much that you don't deserve or something that you got ripped off for. Completely different situation. But that's it. Everyone thinks it's black and white. Well, anyone who complains is a Karen. No, that's called you're a stupid idiot who doesn't understand the difference between the situations because you're a simpleton who thinks everything's always the same, black or white. It's one or the other, right? Like, no, that's not how life works. Life is not black and white. Fat, man, fat man's sweaty orifice to me saying I'm a Karen. Am I drinking Quervo or gin? I'm drinking nothing. I'm having water tonight. Filtered water. So by the way, thank you to Rebel for that super chat. And thank you to the top tipper of the night, Nico. We're at $33 of tips. It'd be great we can get some more. Thank you guys in advance for any contributions tonight. Again, thank you to those who have supported the stream. Uh, I really appreciate it. It'd be great we get some more tips and hit some of these tip goals for tonight. It'd be outstanding. And thank you to those who did support so far. Well, ladies and gentlemen, as I was putting on the gunner glasses, Nico just took me 50 bucks. That means there will be a hat tonight, although we are running out of time. So with only 20 minutes left on the stream, we got to hurry up uh, and do a quick hat poll. All right. All right, looks like Military Hat's going to win. So we'll just go ahead and... Uh... Oh, this is the second raid. Looks like we got some viewers coming in, just so everyone knows. Welcome to the stream. I'm only playing for about another 15 minutes tonight. But uh, FYI, you cannot talk in the chat because we had a lot of troll activity here, so it's on sub-only mode. If you subscribe to my channel, you'll be able to talk in 24 hours. And I apologize. Here's a silly hat that I'm wearing for the rest of the night because we hit our uh, Tier 2 Tips Reward goal here. Nine. Now I'm being called Hitler. There you go. I'm terrible. I'm Hitler. I'm a terrible person. <laughs> Nico says he didn't do the 50 bucks. Oh, yeah? So you're saying this is an impersonator, Nico, and this was not you? Oh, great. <laughs> that's not good, Nico. Uh, that's not good. It means someone probably is impersonating you. And uh, possibly it's a fake tip. I mean, I can check it. it sucks, because I definitely thought it was real. It could be someone just wanted to protect their identity. And so they pretend to be someone else, but I've told people not to do that. You know, I've told people, do not impersonate others. Well, it's the same person who did the tip earlier. The same person who was Nico earlier did this tip as well. It's the same exact account. I can see that. That was the same account twice. So, Nico, did you not send any tips tonight? Is, what, is that what you're saying? Because there's no way that you sent one, and but then not the other, because they're both uh, the same exact person, the same account. Yeah. From what I can see. Nico says I never tipped. Okay, then Nico, then it's probably not you, dude. That's okay. Nico, this, is, this was someone whose just name was Nico. It could be a, a complete coincidence. Uh, you know, that their name was Nico, and that 
you're also Nico. You see what I'm saying? There could definitely be more than one Nico. You know? <laughs> I think we're I think we're good. I wouldn't worry too much about it. I think we're perfectly fine. Yeah. Alright, guys. Awesome. Thank you. Till next time. Very nice. The Hitler of gaming. There's still this back here. And it's still in the back of my neck, the back of my head, the back of my mind, and it's always telling me. It's WWE Champions time. I love it. I love it. Is, is a mobile game addict. Still has indoctrinated children who send him money. Blatantly milking for money. It's a money pit. It's gone. Just gone like that. In an instant. Fucking gone. I just care about money. That I just can't help it. I eBay. Contributions are mandatory. But I need your help. I am appealing directly to you. No decency, no respect, no common sense, no fucking maturity. It's the guy who just doesn't get reality. <laughs>